Welcome back to Lakeland. We're here at the Phenom 100 booth to talk to Embraer's Cameron Gowans about this aircraft. We have only been able to see a mock-up before in person at the shows, and this time we have the real thing to look at. Cameron, thanks very much for taking some time out today. Well, thank you very much. We're very excited to see the Embraer uh, Phenom 100 here in person. You know, when we launched the program three and a half years ago, that seems like a long time for us, but really to go from program launch to aircraft delivery in uh, 36 months is just incredible. And we can't be happier to have the airplane here now in customers' hands and be able to show it to some of the 800-odd order holders on the airplane. So let's talk a little bit about this airplane. It is a single pilot operation jet. It could be owner flown, and in most ways, it could be a very small step above what is technically considered a very light jet. Yeah, so if you use that 10,000 pound classification as the top end for light jet or very light jets, this is actually a 10,474 max takeoff weight, which would mean it's either a very large, very light jet, or as we like to call it, an entry level jet. But you're right, it is a very popular aircraft for the owner operator. It uh, is a single pilot certified airplane and uh, it's very simple to fly. It's got a lot of sophisticated management systems which reduce the pilot workload. It's a very simple aircraft to maintain. Embraer, being a, uh, uh, coming from a background of building airliners, designs airplanes that are very robust, very easy to maintain, and have very low operating costs. For example, the maintenance cycle on this aircraft is every 600 hours or 12 months, so you don't have to stop the airplane at all for maintenance until you reach 600 flight hours or, or 12 months, which is uh, just great for the, for the uh, owner-operator. Well, now, if an owner-operator of an older-style aircraft comes in here and hears that, you're going you're gonna to succeed in getting them to walk up the stairs and take a look. Tell us about some of the features they'll find in this aircraft that are really standing out to people. There's, there's a couple of different things that make the Phenom 100 appeal to the marketplace. The first is uh, the absolutely incredibly spacious cabin. Uh, designed by BMW Design Works, it has a much more open feel. Uh, it's an oval-shaped cabin, not round, so that gives much more head and shoulder room. Uh, up front in the cockpit, Embraer and BMW paid a lot of attention to the ergonomics, to the workflow, and so sitting up front, pilots will find it a very logical and easy and simple to operate aircraft. The other feature that is simply outstanding is the baggage space. 55 cubic feet of baggage space in the back that can carry up to 353 pounds, which is, which is just huge. The ability to carry uh, pro golf bags, the ability to carry skis, plus uh, baggage for four people is, is just uh, setting us apart from the competition. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single-engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its detailed design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at CirrusDesign.com. All right, now for somebody who's going to fly this as a single, single pilot airplane, uh, what are they going to find when they sit down at the panel, and what has your experience been with those folks who have gone through type training so far? Uh, we've got... Uh, approximately 62 pilots that have gone through and are typed in the airplane and the overwhelming response has been how simple the airplane truly is to fly how much the aircraft systems make it uh, a very easy very low workload the Garmin Prodigy system up front which is derived from the G1000 does a great job of integrating all the various aircraft systems into a single management system your environmental control, your, your anti-ice, your, your engine control, your, your cabin controls are all integrated through the single system, uh, reducing the workload and the pilot management uh, to, to be a very, very simple, easy-to-fly airplane. How many, you said there are how many order holders on the plane so far? Between the uh, uh, Phenom 100 and the Phenom 300 and the Phenom family, we've got over 800 orders. Now, this type of airplane, this class of airplane, is somewhat of a departure from Embraer's traditional product line in, in terms of its size and purpose. How has it gone uh, setting up training and support and service and all the other things that go along with putting out a new airplane for something smaller than what Embraer normally does? 
Well, Embraer has been building airplanes for over 40 years, and its experience with supporting customers worldwide translates very well into the executive jet segment. Uh, insofar as training, we've partnered with uh, CAE Simuflight, and so we have a joint venture with them to, to train on the Phenoms, and that program is going extremely well. Uh, in terms of support, we've got four factory-owned service centers here in the United States, and we've got 17 odd authorized service centers here in the United States. So uh, there is a large network in place for uh, product support today. Before the first aircraft even delivered, that was in place. Welcome to the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource. Real-time, 24-7 online audio and video programming, where aviation has been getting updated for over a decade. Distributing over 11,000 stories, features, audio and video programs every year. Only ANN covers aviation and aerospace with this much depth, insight and expertise. Check us out on the web at aero-news.net. What are customers who are or pr prospective customers who are coming by the display here saying about the aircraft? What is surprising them, you know, when they come and see it in person? Probably the most common comment was, "I didn't realize how big an airplane it is." Its ramp presence with that air stair door. If you look behind and you see it, it gives a very, very confidence-inspiring, very secure feeling as you go up the stairs, and that means it's a very big, solid airplane. And so the the comments of uh, solid, stable, uh, secure feeling as, as they come and see the airplane is, is one that's repeated over and over again. Now, the, uh, the list price of manufacturer's suggested list price of a, of a Phenom 100 is in the $3 million range. That's not a big step up for somebody who's looking at what is technically a, a very light jet and maybe a much smaller aircraft. Y yes, it's a, the uh, base price of the aircraft is $3.6 million in, in January 2009 dollars. And when you take not only the purchase price of the aircraft, but the operating costs, and you look at the total economic cost of ownership, you'll find that, that the Embraer is very competitive. In fact, people moving from some of their older turboprops are finding that this is much cheaper to own and operate than a brand new aircraft. Cameron, a lot of our viewers will have missed this week. Uh, is it safe to assume that they'll be able to see the Phenom 100 in person at uh, Oshkosh and say NBAA this year? Of course, we'll be have a have a display at Oshkosh and at NBAA. And uh, as we ramp up on deliveries, by the end of the year, we'll have delivered over 100 uh, Phenoms, and so uh, not only will we be able to see them at Oshkosh and NBAA, but in airports all over the place. I would assume that at some point later this year we'll get uh, an updated first delivery date for the Phenom 300 reaching customers? Yes, the Phenom 300 is working through its certification. It's on progress for uh, certification and deliveries later this year. Well, is there, is there anything that, uh, that we haven't thought to ask you that stands out in your mind just from dealing with it and standing next to this plane for this uh, week so far? Well, I can tell you as, as much as you want, but there's nothing better than getting up and going and looking and seeing the airplane, seeing the cabin, seeing the cockpit, seeing the baggage space, and uh, from that standpoint it puts all of these things that we've been telling people for the last three and a half years into reality and they can soon envision themselves in their airplane. Well, Cameron, by, the, by now our viewers have seen a lot of the, those facets of the airplane and we thank you very much for taking some time to explain it to us. Well, thank you very much.